Hey, what's up guys, Zach Calhoun, welcome back. In this second section of our Google Street View Profit series, we're gonna talk about the mindset you need to win and how to think simple and think big at the same time. You see, creating a Google Street View virtual tour takes a little bit of technical knowledge, a little bit of hardware, and a little bit of experience. Once you get that experience, you can then hire an administrator to help you build the tours, hire your photo guy to go shoot the virtual tours, and think big and at scale for even going outside your geographic region to really take a simple service that is Google Virtual Tours and expand it into a large national network where you can leverage and contract out the photo services, leverage and contract out the tour building, and really, based on the sales that come in, only pay people as they are needed. It's an international marketplace, and you could leverage people with a heavy, where the dollar is heavy, like the Philippines or Vietnam or Pakistan, et cetera, and even build a sales team that's overseas that helps you grow your sales pipeline, build virtual tours for you, and all you need to do is have that person find a local photographer who has the expertise. If you know what you're looking for and what you need, you can grow this business kind of what, what I call from the helm, okay? It's called helm thinking. From the helm, right? Simple analogy would be this. When you go to an NFL football game, everyone's eyes, where are they? They're on the quarterback, they're on the football field. They're looking down at the football players, how fast they are, how big they are, how strong they are. They're throwing the ball, they're catching the ball. It's truly incredible athletes. But then when you're watching the game from home, what do they often get in the camera or cut to? They cut to the owner in the box wearing the big bright suit, looking down from the helm at all that he owns and, had, and is running and, and all of he, all his creation, <laughs> you know. Looking down as an owner is ultimately the goal for any business because entrepreneurship is about freedom. You do things so you can teach them, so you can build freedom. Currently right now, the way Cloud Pano is, we have enough customers or we really can if we decided to dial down all of our expenses and all our people and all our sales team and just let it all come in. But the reality is our goal is different than building just freedom. At this point, our goal is to expand and scale the business. So if that's our goal, then we have to think big and act accordingly. So how do you start simple in the Google Street View virtual tour photography space, but also think big at the same time? I'm gonna give you a couple examples and you're free to go run with them, okay? We're gonna use the analogy of a lawn care business. Lawn care, baby. I'm in Texas, so lawn care is everywhere. During the week, there is so many crews out in the neighborhood just cutting all the grass and they're going fast. And I'm pretty sure within about 15 minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes of a house, front yard and backyard is totally cut. Three person team, two person team is probably the minimum. They're going fast, they're cutting, they're edging, they're blowing, everything's done, 15 minutes, and they're on to the next house. That's systematized service, man, it's recurring, so it's really powerful. You can also try recurring with Google Street, Street View virtual services, and we'll get into that more in the future. This team cuts grass really fast, they're in and out. They know the system, they know the, the power of a team and a system. Somewhere is the owner. The owner is the person who is writing the, writing the invoices or checking on payments or maybe they're paying their contractors or if they're a really good owner, they're just letting their manager manage the business for them and they go on to the next thing. Now, it's not always that simple. I realize that. Nothing, nothing is 100% passive, 100% freedom from anything that, has a, that is of value. But when you understand the simplicities of this service, you can then understand this, the simplicity that's also scaling it. So, what are we doing on location whenever we provide this service? Let's say hypothetically you've already hosted a demo, closed the sale, or you have a online ordering system where someone can order online 100%, they click your ad, they order online, they schedule online, and, and, and now it's up to you and your team to send out a photo, photo guy, I call them photo guys, photo girls, photo guys, same thing, I call them photo guys, to the location to take the virtual tour and create it. So how do they do it? 
So a virtual tour in the modern language, for a 360 Google Street View virtual tour, requires a 360 photo to be captured and multiple of them and connected with certain tools. Cloud Pano is one of those tools, okay? Now, the process is very simple. You come to location, you capture photos in 360, you post process, you upload, you connect, and you publish. You make sure you connect it to the Google Maps, Google My, My Business profile of the small business owner you are selling to, and it will appear on their listing in one of two days. So what is a 360 photo anyways? Well, a 360 photo flat on the screen looks like a two to one ratio photo with a lot of waves in it. The shape is called echo rectangular. And what virtual tour softwares do is they take this photo, centralize the viewer, the viewer wrap the photo around the viewer so that when a viewer views the photo on the screen, they can move left, move right, move up, move down. It's a full 360 experience. So you can do this with 360 cameras, with DSLR, with some stitching, with fisheye lenses, uh, or you can just find someone locally who takes 360 photos and say, hey bro, do you take 360 photos for virtual tours? If they say yes, great, can you show me an example? They'll send you an example. You make sure you're on the right track and the quality looks good. Cool, here's my project, here's how much it costs. Or, or, how, or can you send me a quote, right? Now, that's later on, but I want you to go take some photos yourself. I want you to buy some cameras off the internet. I want you to use the Cloud Pando Virtual Tour mobile kit, okay? We have a mobile kit where you can put your phone into a rotator, attach a fisheye lens, and press capture, and it'll rotate around and create a 360 capture 100% from your mobile phone. It's an easy, cheap way to get started, to learn the experience, okay? Take that photo that's now a 360 or two to one ratio, echo rectangular photo. You're gonna upload it in the cloud panel. You're gonna go to Google Street View Publish. You're gonna connect the dots. Make sure the, uh, the Google My Business page is what you're uploading to. And you're gonna publish and check it out. And it's gonna be live on their listing within a day or two, a couple of days. Once you do this once, once you go to location, you're gonna to have to have a camera stand of some kind. Prop, I've used a, a mic converted, a little converter, um, cause I just like how it's heavy on the bottom. But you go to location, you capture these photos, you make sure you're not in the photo, okay? You hide, so you can play around with, with the camera settings or you just use the mobile app and, and stay behind it as it turns. When you capture this, now you have this, this base, this image, this, this base file. And you can do things with that file. You can either upload it straight, straight out of what you got from the camera, or you can post process, edit, and make it look beautiful. There's editors all over the internet, or there's editing tools that you can use. Cloud Pano has one they're working on. Uh, maybe by the time you're watching this, you'll be able to use the editing tool to automatically process and edit and make the, make the photo look great. Once the photos look wonderful, you can upload and connect them very easily. And that's really it. You're gonna search for the Google My Business Profile in the upload process, and you'll find it because they'll already have a Google Maps listing. And if they don't, you can offer to help them do that for a low fee, right? Then you got the experience of creating a Google Business Profile for a customer, so you can get the whole entire ex experience, right? And they used to send out letters to folks with a verification tag on it, and so, and so, every once in a while they still do that, and it changes all the time about how they verify, but, but know this, the ones that they have to have a listing on, on, on Google Maps for this to connect to it. Now, you don't only have to sell a Google Street View virtual tour to make money from a customer. You can also sell what's called a hosted tour. On Cloud Pano, you can build these and customize them and add hotspots and embed media, capture leads, add chatbots, even have live video chat add floor plans, all types of things you can do to make the interactive experience even better. But Google Street View does not accept all these things. Google Street View is very basic. It's just the photos and it makes a couple arrows on the screen so you can go to the next photo, okay? Sometimes Google Street View takes a little bit of time to get the connections to publish secondarily and it's kind of a slow system. It's not instant like the cloud panel virtual tour software, a hosted tour option. Eventually they'll get right and connect correctly. So, go get this experience, go do it once, find a buddy, call a friend, who owns a small business that you know? They can benefit from having this rich media on the listing. 
go do a tour for them. Help them out. Take a couple photos. Go get the experience. Feel it out. Feel what it's like to be on location. Feel your heart beat a little bit. Charge them some money if they, if they don't like if they don't like it. Tell them it's free. Okay. Get the experience. It's super powerful and important to get a little experience yourself. Once you've done that, now you can start thinking big. You have to think big up front, but start small and act small. Okay. So why does that matter? Why, why, why do I have to think big up front? Very simple. You have to know what it's like to not know anything when you first get started. It's really important to remember what it's like to be dumb because you're gonna be sending people to locations sometimes it's their first time. So you have to be able to talk, talk the language, know what the camera feels like, know you have to connect the camera through your phone. Know, you'll be able to know when you're talking to an experienced contractor and an inexperienced one because you've done it yourself. If you don't have any of that experience, you might end up with hiring some bad hires and have to pay extra to, to redo a shoot and that's a circus you don't wanna do. Okay, so you have to get a little bit of experience so that you can hire well later. And then of course, you can also teach someone locally. So if you have someone, this happens all the time where someone's young and they wanna make some money, but they only work part-time. Once you close a deal, you can literally call that young person up and say, hey bro, got a project. Um, I know typically we charge 15 bucks an hour. This will only take two hours. Go to location and I'll see you out there. It's like, cool, what day can you do? I can do it on Thursday afternoon, great. I'll give you the phone number of the owner when you're on your way. So then you pay 30 bucks for fulfillment, edit some photos, bam, you got great margin. You can charge 500 to $700 plus 10 bucks a month if you want for hosting fees, call it hosting and maintenance. This helps take care of your future needs to help do any updates or changes as well to the tours. So I know I'm going fast, but I wanna keep it simple, right? Go create one, think while you're doing it, What's it like to train somebody locally, right? Because hourly is always better than per project. And then go train someone and send them out to your next project that you get. So when you sell the next project, send that guy out, that girl out, actually, and you can go with them one time to show them what it's like, show them the ropes. That's what I did many years ago when I first started. I walked the property with the young guy. He was a great kid, kid in high school, homeschool kid, he was a sweet kid. I walked the property with him. So next time he can go on his own. So be thinking big. So do yourself first. Train that person you want to train up next. Go with them to the next project. The third one, let them go. I'm sure they're going to be fine. So if you trust someone, then, you know, then you're probably going to be fine. So that's up to you when you want to trust someone to go by themselves. Make sure you got your right paperwork in place and you know, for liabilities, et cetera, but if for subcontracting. But in general, that's the process. So think, think small, act small, keep it simple, and then go do Think big in the process and start hiring and sending folks out locally. Before you know it, all your folks on is sales and marketing. And then once you have that tight, your systems are in place, you have an admin in place, then you're cooking with grease, baby. That's what's next for you. I'm gonna get to that in the next part of this video or this next part of this video series, so stay tuned. I'm excited for you. Let's get to it.